name's Chris Gideon, and I'm an architect at the Microsoft Corporation. In this module, we're going to walk through how the My Tasks features works in SharePoint 2013. In SharePoint 2013, the way people store and manage documents in their personal sites has been completely redesigned and simplified by two major improvements. First, the number of personal document libraries has been reduced from two to one, as it was in the previous versions of SharePoint. Then, a set of views is being created to provide an aggregated experience across documents shared with others and documents shared by others. The first view available in the document library is the All view that allows people to see all the documents stored in the document library. This view has a set of features that enable users to manage their documents more easily. It provides a visual representation on which documents are private, not shared with anyone, and which docs are shared with someone. For the docs that are shared, it provides a quick view on who those documents are shared with by following a tooltip by simply mousing over the shared icon. The Offline Libraries feature allows users to take a copy of document libraries in SharePoint 2013 to their Windows desktop and keep that copy in sync. Underneath, it uses the same technology as SharePoint Workspaces, but it no longer requires the installation of SharePoint Workspaces. In fact, that technology is now provided by installing any of the Office 2013 client bits on the workstation. Because it no longer relies on SharePoint workspaces, the user interface is now integrated into Windows Explorer directly. Once a document library is synced to the workstation, documents can be accessed and modified even when the user is offline. Moreover, actions like sharing the document with other people or sending a link to the document via email are also available from within Windows Explorer directly. Now let's take a quick look at SkyDrive Pro and its synchronization capabilities. Let's examine SkyDrive Pro. So from the personal site, the easiest way to get there is to click on the SkyDrive link. And you can see all the list of documents that I currently have stored in the document library within SharePoint. And then you can see also the list of individuals that I'm currently sharing it with. So in this particular case I can see that this this folder by default is a shared with everyone folder so I can see it's shared with myself and everyone else. But if I want to get a little more specific here I can see that these with the lock are only shared with me. If I'd like to add an additional individual to these then um, I can easily do so by going and inviting people. You can see that the autocomplete automatically finds Molly Dempsey, the person I wanted to share it with. I can also allow her to edit, or I can just set it to where she can view, and then I just click share. Notice the notification that this particular document has been shared with Molly. Well, in addition to that, one of the other things that we want to do with SkyDrive Pro is actually synchronize it with Windows Explorer. Now, I already have a Windows Explorer open here. So you can see that right there, it has very few documents in it. I'm going to go ahead and back on my personal site here in the SkyDrive Pro folder. I'm going to choose Sync. And then your files are speaking are syncing as we speak. Go take a look and watch them come in. And you can see that they're currently right there. So I can click Show My Files. And you can see that these files in particular have all been uh, brought in through the synchronization process. Now notice that the thumbs file has not come in because that is not one of the file types that uh, we're synchronizing for this because it's thumbnail. So if I click on one of these files in particular, we have the option with SkyDrive Pro to go to view that in the browser, a copy a link to it, or share it directly from here. So if I wanted to do the same thing I had done before by choosing that option, if I lower it, you can see that now I can currently see who I'm sharing it with, and then I could also invite Molly to that one as well if I wanted. I'll go ahead and say she can edit as well. It's now been shared. So when I go back here to my My Site, or I mean to my Windows Explorer, we can also see that those documents in particular have been shared. Let's go ahead and refresh this as well. And then if we make any changes here, let's say that we open one of these offline. Let's 
currently downloading it because it was one of the files that was being pulled. I can choose to enable editing. And you can see that we've added text. I'm going to go ahead and choose to synchronize that. You can see down here that it said it was uploading to SharePoint. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the document. And I'm going to refresh just to so see that it has been updated. And then when we come back in here, we'll choose sync. And then if we actually go in and refresh this view, we should see that this was modified just a few seconds ago. So even modifying it that way automatically is uploading it back to SkyDrive Pro. And in addition to that, uh, we could do, well, we could take several other actions, but you can see that even by browsing through this, I'm browsing into the shared with everyone folder. And I'm also browsing into currently the community service folder. So I get overall a list of the types of um, documents that are available. And you can see, like I said before, and that's SkyDrive Pro. In this module, we discuss SkyDrive Pro and SharePoint Server 2013.